on to the Dunkley by-election. A lot of focus. It wouldn't surprise you, uh, given your electorate. I know that you, you know the cost of living pressures are, are hurting Australians right across the board, but Dunkley is a middle Australia seat. Um, that's what we're hearing from Frankston and around Caram Downs. This is going to be a, a bit of a litmus test as to how the government's responding to these pressures. Well, absolutely. I mean, the by-election um, was triggered by the very untimely death of our colleague Peter Murphy, um, who will be greatly missed in this place. Um, there are many communities across the country who are doing it really tough at this point in time, and we are taking steps as a government to address cost of living issues, and that included recalling Parliament in December 2022 to make sure that there was a cap on coal and gas prices. You know, electricity rebates, childcare rebates, cheaper medicines, uh, fee-free TAFE places, an increase to rental assistance, and obviously the tax cuts that have just passed Parliament. We know people are doing it tough. Uh, we're in a position to do things about them, which is why our policies uh, and legislation over the last 18 months has been trying to ad directly address that. Inflation is not an Australian problem. It is a worldwide problem. Uh, and when you look at how other economies across the world are going, we are tracking OK because of the policies we've put in place. The Treasurer, Jim Chalmers, um, delivered a budget surplus the first one in 15 years because we've been so careful about not overspending and overstimulating the economy mm. and we will continue this track to make sure that we put downward pressure on inflation. And, and so you, you're trying to take the, the, a bit of the, the pain out but still the tax cuts don't go anywhere near the level of pressure people are feeling at the moment in terms of uh, mortgage repayments cost of living, the basket of goods at the groceries, I mean, at the uh, supermarket stores, you'd, you'd hear this day in, day out, wouldn't you? Yeah, look, it's I... It's the number one issue. Yeah, I do hear it. It is the number one issue for people. And absolutely, uh, we want to make it as easy for people as possible. Um, what we have done with the amended Stage 3 tax cuts is give every taxpayer in the country a tax cut. Under the former plan from uh, the Morrison government, uh, more than... Uh, uh, you know, 85% of people are better off with our plan as opposed to the previous plan. So we are addressing that issue because we are hearing it from people. And on the discussion around EVs and, and the vehicle emissions, is, is that something that's cutting through? Is it is it resonating? Because obviously the, the, la the, uh, the coalition trying to put Labor under pressure ahead of Dunkley saying it's a ute tax, is that cutting through? I mean, it's just, again ridiculous fear and negativity from an opposition. I mean, this was their policy when they were in government. They just didn't legislate it. Um, you know, the member for Bradfield, Paul Fletcher, is on record uh, numerous times saying that this will not make a material difference to car prices. I mean, the US, the largest uh, pickup ute country in the world, has had vehicle emission standards since 1975. So the conversation has moved on. We want to get people more efficient vehicles and there will be a mix of vehicles available uh, across the country with these new standards.